Welcome back to Animal Wonders. This episode is sponsored by Z-Man Games. Click the link in the description to check out their family-friendly game, Jungle. I just have to say that we have the most incredible community. Not only do we have some of the kindest and most helpful comments section on YouTube, but we also have such a supportive Patreon community. And to top it all off, we have compassionate donors who help us keep the animals happy and healthy by donating directly and fulfilling our Amazon wish list. Today, I'd like to celebrate by doing some unboxing of packages on camera and then hopefully sharing whatever is inside with the animals. Okay, the first box I want to open is this one. It's from Scout and they say, please open on camera. So we're opening on camera. There's a letter. It says, for animal wonders. And it's got a bunch of drawings of the animals. A porcupine, a skunk, a bat, a hedgehog. Mm, I'm thinking that's a guinea pig and a parrot and a toucan. Awesome, okay. For Animal Wonders, I hope you and your animals enjoy these toys. They are all handmade. Here's a list of what they are. A mealworm feeder, a cardboard house, and three chew toys from Scout, age nine. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Scout. This is incredible. Look at this. These look like chew toys. Perfect. <laughs> These are gonna be great for the birds. Okay, and the cardboard house, yep, there we go. Oh, you know who I think will love this? I think Tickles the Hedgehog is gonna love the cardboard hut. And a mealworm feeder, look how cute this is. Look at that. Scout, thank you so much for making these for the animals. I'm gonna set them aside and then we'll make sure that we get these to the animals. Okay. The rest of these are from our Amazon wish list, and these are really cute. So I'm gonna actually start with these because they look so festive, it's like Christmas. It just says a gift for you, and it says one for Cass and one for Serafina from Stephanie. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Let's see. Yes! Awesome! Training treats for the foxes. Thank you so much, Stephanie. These are great because both of the foxes are very motivated to train with these treats because they like them so much. Thank you. Next, next. Look at this little cutie. Hi, Animal Wonders. Enjoy your gifts from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Let's see. It's crinkly. What are these? these are little balls and yep, awesome. Oh my gosh. I need to open these right now because these are the most adorable. That is so crinkly. <laughs> Look at these. It's a tiny shoe. I wonder if anyone can guess who is going to love these little <laughs> shoes. Um, these are actually for Zima, the toucan, because she loves going after our shoes and our shoelaces, and so we're gonna give her some of her own. <laughs> and these are great balls too. Um, she can't eat anything, and they're light enough that she can toss around, and hopefully she'll like peck at them and move them around, it'll be really fun. So Zima's definitely going to be getting these. Hopefully I'll cheer her up a little bit because she's still a little bit down from her surgery. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Oh my gosh, these shoes, I just want, uh... <laughs> Okay. I love these little things. I love that they have the little thank you notes on there. Let's see. Hi, Jesse and everyone at Animal Wonders. Hope Huckleberry enjoys these from Michelle. Oh my gosh, let's see. Let's see what we have for Huckleberry. Um, these are perches. I'm pretty sure these are for Zima the Toucan because they have really good grips on them. Let's see what's in here. I know what these are. It's like feeling the present and knowing before you open it. These are definitely for Huckleberry. Yes, he loves these so much. Okay, these are willow balls and he loves, obviously he's a beaver, he loves wood. So he loves chewing on the wood, but these are so fun and they're safe for him. So thank you so much, Michelle. This is wonderful. And the next one, let's, let's 
let's do one of these little ones. Read the cards first. Hello, enjoy your gift from Viviana. All right. These are the best. I love these. These are the best. Okay. So the reason I like these toys and perches is because they are safe woods. So we like using these for the chinchillas and I put them on the edge of their bar cage wall there and they can jump on them. They're nice and thick. There's some grip there. And best of all, they can chew on them. They're perfect. They're great. And these little chewers inside, they have these like, I don't know, they're like spongy type things. And I, they must like the shape or they like pulling these out, but all of the animals, all of the chewing animals just, just go crazy for these. So thank you so much, Viviana. Okay, let's do the other little one here. I'm making such a mess. Let's get this one out. Do we have a little card? Oh, there's no little card in here. Okay, so whoever sent us this magical toy, thank you so much. Um, Zima the Toucan loves these, but also Joy the Macaw and Zoe the Amazon Parrot. And it's just packed full of goodies like these little, it, these come out, this is chewable, these are just fun to pick out and throw around. And it makes noise too, yay. Thank you. And back to the boxes. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. So we have been asking for help improving our reptile enclosures because the reptiles deserve all the love too. And this is from Karen. Thank you so much, Karen. This is a mixture of soils and moss and it is perfect for a bioactive enclosure for reptiles. It's good for the cleanup crew, the little critters that eat all the, the poo and the leftover and stuff like that. And it's really good at holding moisture as well. So thank you so much. If you've watched one of our unboxing videos before, you know that these boxes also go to use. They are basically become enrichment for the animals. We can hide food in them and they can open them up or chew on them or whatever they want to do with them. And when we're done with that, we end up composting them. All right, move Moving on to our second to last box. What's in here? Ooh, the letter's right on top. And this is from Rebecca. Rebecca, thank you so much for supporting us and helping make sure the animals are happy and healthy. These are heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if you can imagine how much cleaning we have to do with over a hundred animals, but it's a lot. And we go through a lot of soap disinfectants and we desperately need this. So thank you so much, Rebecca. Oh, I'm so happy. And the last box. And this is also from Karen. Karen, thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Oh, another one of these wonderful little gifts that everyone loves. And let's get that out of here. These are little walls and they go down like that to make the most adorable little hut. Our chinchillas, Pebbles and Cheerio, love little huts. And of course, their chinchillas, they love to chew on things and they will live in this not live in it, but like hang out in it and chew it from the inside out. They'll stand on top of it, chew it down, and they'll continue to sit and hide in them until they're literally just like bare bones on the outside. They love them that much. Thank you so much, Karen. All right, so we've opened all the boxes and now we've come to my favorite time, which is giving all the toys to the animals.
feels so good. I love spreading joy to others. It makes me so happy to know that they are happy. And if you want to continue spreading joy with me, you can send some toys to the animals at our P.O. Box or check out our Amazon wish list. The link is in the description. Now, I recently had the opportunity to test some family-friendly games from Z-Man Games, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. My kiddos are almost eight and four, and it's challenging to find a game that's fun for us to enjoy together. Augusto, my husband, and I introduced them to a game called Jungle, and we had such a fun time. My almost eight-year-old was interested at first, and each round he got more and more hooked as he figured out more of the nuances. Little did he know that there's not just one way to play, but five different games in one. Even my almost four-year-old stayed engaged because of the fast pace and colorful characters. If you have any small humans in your life, I definitely recommend Jungle as a fun and engaging game to play with a variety of ages. You can find the link to Z-Man Games below, and with the holidays coming up, this is a perfect time to get something for the whole family to enjoy. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to continue going on adventures with the animals every week, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. Bye.